Today I'm gonna to show you guys how to treat dry nose, how to treat nasal hyperketosis. Um, basically, really dry, chapped, cracked noses, um, crust all over it. We've dealt with it plenty of times, so we figured we'd show you guys the natural remedy that we use here. What's going on, Bully Fam? It's your boy, the educator, the scientist, Mr. Double Muscle Line Bulls, bringing you another episode of Breeders Hacks. So today, um, I got grape with me, and I just wanted to go over with you guys um, what we use here as far as treating, you know, chapped, cracked, really dry, crusty noses, um, even to the extent, um, in severe cases, the most severe cases you usually see is like what's called um, nasal hyperketosis, where that's where the nose just gets crusty on its own and there's really no treatment for it. The good thing is what I'm about to show you guys is a natural remedy. It doesn't harm the dog or anything like that. And you can use it for all of the above, everything I just said. So um, what I used, um, and I'm gonna show you guys the before and after. I mean, before her nose was looking absolutely crazy, crust. Um, all over, um, very hard, very dry. Um, we used rough nose, and I mean, this stuff here, um, some of the ingredients in it is just great because um, between, um, there's like avocado oil, shea butter, coconut uh, butter, or coconut oil, um, castor oil, which is great for keeping that long lasting, um, that long lasting like oily consistency over the dog's nose which is very similar. The reason why I know about the castor oil is because we use that for dry eyes as well, which I'm gonna do a separate episode on. But anyway, all of the ingredients, um, natural ingredients are super great for really dry, um, sensitive skin like that. So anyway, um, we put it on her nose and the after, which I'm gonna show you guys now, this was literally like three days after. Um, we put it on a couple times a day and immediately completely humongous difference. So. Um, as you can see, guys can see from the picture, I'm showing you guys now. In cases when the nose is really bad, we'll put it on a couple times a day. And once it's cleared up within like a couple of days, um, we'll just put on some, maybe like once a week, just for general maintenance, especially like in the winter months and stuff like that. So all you're gonna do is we usually use like latex gloves or something um, because it is a little bit oily and we'll go ahead and lather it on the finger, put a small amount. Why I love the rough nose, so much this this brand inversion so much is because of the fact that it's soft right out the tin i've used other brands and the problem is, is like you have to warm it up and do all this crazy stuff um i remember one at one point in time i had a a, a company a brand that's like i had to put the metal tin on a heater for it to warm up before i could actually put it on the dog's nose which i don't have time for that so anyway with this here like i said we'll take it put it on the dog's nose and it basically just does the rest of the work. So this is a simple remedy that works. Like I said, I've seen some really bad gnarly looking noses, even to the severe extent um, where we've had vets that I've had people come to me and the vets told them that they have nasal um, hyperketosis and things like that. So trust me, it's, it's gonna work. So as you can see now, her nose looks perfect, looks really good. So that's the remedy that we do here that keeps our dog's noses looking really nice, shiny, healthy. Um, so if you have any other questions, you know, feel free to reach out to us. Um, I hope this information was helpful. I hope it was useful. Um, trust me, I've seen some really bad noses and it's not nothing that you can't fix. Get you some stuff like this and I mean, it'll be gone within a couple of days. So if you have any other questions, you know, feel free to reach out to us. Um, I'll put our contact info in the description down below and um, See you guys in the next episode.